the world is becoming more crowded, more polluted and more connected. And this is true for both developed and developing countries. Universal problems are highly diverse, ranging from climate change to urbanization, from water to air pollution, and from natural hazards to wars. And we face major environmental problems in non-populated areas as well. The growing energy demand is a latent threat to all natural resources such as river, forest and minerals. We must address these challenges in a sustainable and resilient way. And most importantly, solutions must be effectively communicated to stakeholders and policymakers. These and other infrastructure and environmental challenges need to be addressed in the nearest future to provide more secure and comfortable life for future generations. Melbourne University has a number of schools, academic departments and research centers with a rich history of pioneering research and technological development. The Infrastructure Engineering Department works on vital infrastructure and environmental issues that need to be tackled in the nearest future. Our department has a research strategy which is in line with the University and the School of Engineering Research Agenda. In line with this strategy and building of the strings from civil engineering, geomatics, environmental hydrology and water resources, we are responding to the society grand challenges. Geomatics is all about answering questions about where and when, that is spatial information and spatial temporal information. Civil engineering is the most exciting, albeit the oldest of our disciplines in infrastructure engineering. We do creative things that really move society forward. The Environmental Hydrology and Water Resources Group aims to understand the water cycle better. We aim to come up with innovative ways of measuring uh, water in the landscape and better ways of managing water. We work together to develop more sustainable and resilient innovations in areas such as intelligent transportation, spatial information science, disaster management, project management, structure, geotechnical engineering, catchment systems, environmental monitoring, and water resources. Now we have a brief idea on the challenges that each discipline faces and how individual researchers contribute to address them. And how about we ask their students to summarize their whole two-year PhD only few words. <laughs> Policy analysis in energy transitions. Soil thermal properties. Structural health monitoring. Council scene and the disaster information. Quality of volunteer geographic information. Signal LIDAR. Impact of storm debris. Project success. Urban mobility. Improving hydrologic models. Phosphorus flow analysis. Hybrid water supply systems, crop water stress, nanomaterials in building, stakeholder analysis, prediction at engaged catchments, shell geothermal technology.